So when I was a young kid, um, we had guests come into our house, and my dad said, Alhamdulillah, you have your cousin that just came, you know, from a long way, especially they were, they were coming from Burundi. I want you to behave, but I don't want you to take your bike and hurt yourself. And of course, because I have always been very stubborn, I took the bike, and guess what I did? Started going around, started going around, and because I wasn't very good at that time, at knowing how to handle a bike, I, and it was going downhill, I ended up in the bush. And I was going so fast, I mean, I hurt myself, I hit a tree, and then what started happening, I was bleeding. And I was bleeding from my arms, my face, my legs, and I was afraid. So I went to take a shower to hide the fact that I was bleeding because I didn't want my dad and mom to find out because I didn't want to get in trouble. But mostly I didn't want my cousins to get in trouble. So I didn't want them to know. So I showered, I did my best to stop the bleeding so no one knows that I, you know, I was bleeding, right? So he stopped the bleeding. The bleeding stopped, and I was like, finally, no one is going to know what happened. But the issue, well, the bleeding stopped, but the scars remained. And the funny thing, I still have these scars even now. I mean, it's been how many years? I can't even remember how many years it's been, and I still have these scars. So, finally, of course, my parents knew, not because they saw me, fall from the bike not because they saw me bleed but because the scars showed them where I have been the scars showed them that I did hurt myself or the scars showed them that maybe something did hurt me and I feel like in our lives so many times we have that we have people who have scars we walk around with scars we walk around with hurt we walk around with disappointments we walk around with people as much as we try to love them sometimes they walk away or sometimes we walk away from a situation sometimes we walk away from um, a relationship sometimes we walk away from circumstances and at the end of the day scars stay the pain may not be there but the scars is still there and the amazing thing that i've come to learn is the power of letting go does not mean the scars will not remain and sometimes maybe God allows the scars to stay to remind us to remind us of how far we have come to heal sometimes the scars stay there to realize that the difference between healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships sometimes scars are there to remind us wow I really came far or God has really brought restoration in my life now I can always tell you, or you have maybe heard, you know, that it's easy to move on. It's easy to move on from pain. It's easy to move on from hurt. But at the end of the day, it is not that easy. Because sometimes those scars are always there to remind you of what you've gone through. But then, but then, here's the thing. You have to be careful because if you always rely on your scars to define people, relationships, and life, you always define it from a bitterness place not from a better place because scars should not always let you define your life your destiny you know there are things I have been through but those things don't define my choices today because those decisions I have made maybe they were unwise maybe they were foolish <laughs> maybe they were rebellious but what I got out of them is wisdom is to know what to do better next time but we have a lot of people who have trust issues people who refuse to believe in the good in the world there are people who say nothing is gonna be good things cannot be better in burundi we cannot have better leadership africa is always gonna be the same we have all these things because we have these beliefs because of the scars that we have that remind us of what we've been through but the scars remind us that yes we've been through this but it doesn't mean that we should lose hope we should lose faith we should lose faith in humanity we should lose faith in knowing that God can still do many great things in our nations in our lives in our families yes scars 
are not are ugly because sometimes and whenever someone sees a scar on you they always say what happened to you for example right i'm gonna tell you a very funny story so when i was in burundi i was a kid i was like five or six so i was playing with my neighbor and my mom was talking to a friend so we were playing around we we're playing around you know because uh we were playing outside and then something happened right so i was running and then i hit my head on the door and guess what happened i started bleeding but i didn't see it right i didn't see the fact that i was bleeding so i kept playing with my friend his name was yvonne we were neighbors you know um we lived um Mukinandira. so we keep playing we keep playing we keep playing and then what happened was i started looking around and there's blood everywhere i was like where is this blood coming from and then i started feeling liquids you know falling from my face i'm like what's this this feels like water and then i look at it i'm like whoa it's blood and then my mom saw me and she's like panicking she's like oh my god you're wide open it was really bad so they took me to a, a clinic i'm not gonna say the name because you gotta love burundi so they take me to this clinic right so when they take me to this clinic here's the story so we get there and then this nurse says uh and then my mom is like okay move through here Yes. So finally, they put stitches, but Nurudo do go blue, blue stitches on my face. <laughs> it was such a funny story. But the thing is, like, I still have the mark, but you cannot see the blue stitches, right? But the the thing is, we all have scars to re so, so we can tell stories. You know, we have those stars so we can remind people, like, hey, this is what I went through. This is how far I came. This is a testimony. You know. So scars should not make you bitter. Scars should allow you to let you have a story, a story to tell someone to let them know that I came from far. A scars will allow us to look back and say, we, "This is where we came as a nation. This is where we came far as a family. This is how far that we came." You know, because most of the time when you look at scars, it's a bad thing. I don't see scars as a bad thing. Every time I look at my scars, they all have a story. So whenever people ask me, like, "Hey, what happened here?" I'm like, "Hey, when I was six years old, when I was running in Burundi," or I'm like, "Hey, I was 12, I was on a bike," or I'm like, "I was 16, I fell." because i had a very crazy childhood so i have so many stories to tell so there are some people who choose to see their scars as this is a story and i want you to see that yes i did these things these things hurt me but they're not hurting me now and then there are other people who see scars as this place where they keep the memories of the pain you know, they become bitter. Everything is always bad. They see the bad in people. They don't see the good in everything. They always say like, well, all the men are the same. All the women are the same. There is no point of trying because everything is bad. So, as much as we have these two people, because the bad thing about having this bitterness, you have no room for God to work in your life. But also you have no room to try new things. You have no room to tell your story. You have no room to see and to have hope in humanity. Because if all we do with our scars is to just remember the pain and not tell the story, we lose hope and faith in humanity. We lose faith in knowing that God can even work in our brokenness. God can still work in our mistakes and God can still work even in our pain. And mostly, we don't.